And as a young man, he was summoned to the wars Spent his best years with blood on his hands Hey guys, it's Omomoto and happy Independence Day It is currently midnight, July 4th, 2017 it is the 4th of July, also known as Independence Day. Right now, I'm headed down to Wheeler Dam, gonna do some night fishing for catfish with my buddy Sasquatch and a few of uh, his and my friends. I'm gonna tell you what Independence Day means to me. Independence Day to me means I can be me. Um, if we were in other countries, for example, the Middle East and some other countries, it wouldn't be safe at all for me to be homomoto. And it also wouldn't be safe for me to be able to carry a firearm. We have so many freedoms here in the United States and a lot of people don't realize what we actually have. This is one of the few countries in the world where you can have firearms and carry them for protection. And if you were to have to use them, you're going to be given a fair trial. I know that doesn't seem like much, but when you see the oppression that other countries go through and... It, it just, it makes me very happy to be an American. And I'm very thankful for all the military that has went overseas and died for us so that we can keep these freedoms. A lot of people take for granted the freedoms we do have and the fact that we're not um, put under a ruling thumb like a lot of countries. Don't get me wrong, most areas of Europe is very nice as well. And they have most of the same freedoms we have. But we are the, in my opinion, the best and strongest country in the world right now. Both the people, the patriotism, and our military. And I'm very uh, fortunate to live in a country where we have these freedoms, these protections, and these rights. So don't take it for granted. You know, don't, it really bothers me when people go out and burn the flag. You know, I understand that's freedom of expression or whatever, but come on now. If if you had lost loved ones in a draft or just in war in general, you know, maybe it would wake you up and open your eyes to what, what they're actually fighting for. They're fighting for you. They're fighting for your rights as much as their own and the rights of their families. And I think we should be proud to celebrate that. And we should have the fireworks. Now that being said, I want you guys to be really careful with the fireworks. Don't get hurt, don't get burnt, and don't be stupid. I remember about years ago, my family used to have these bottle rocket and Roman candle wars. It was so much fun. But I also remember the times that people got hurt. Like, uh, oh goodness. <laughs> I was using a uh, Roman candle in these little bottle rocket Roman candle wars that we had. And I shot my cousin in the chest and it caught his shirt on fire. And, I mean, it wasn't funny at the time. But looking back at it now, you know, he didn't get hurt. It's, it's kind of funny. But that being said, just be careful. Don't do anything stupid. Don't blow your hand off. Don't shoot bottle rockets and Roman candles at each other. Because somebody going to get hurt. And, guys, if you're at a 4th of July party and you hear, hold my beer and watch this. Stay away. Just just code duck for cover. Get in a storm shelter or something because it's not safe. Well, guys, that's all I got for right now. Check this out. The guy in the orange has been fighting this fish for about, I'd say, how long would you say, Squatch? At least 30 minutes. This thing keeps pulling his line out, so I hope I got something to show y'all. Probably another hour or two. Of course, for you guys, it'll be a few seconds. But, I'll let you know something. Hopefully, it'll be good news. Another 15 minutes later, they've had to swap. Squatch has got the pole now. So, this is th uh, 45 minutes now, so far. One eternity later. Six and a half hours later. Well, we made it out to the river. Yeah. You got some boats and canoes. 
There's some kids over there jumping off the pier. Or the uh, ledge, rather. Cliff. What would you call it, a cliff? Yeah. There's some houseboats. Lots and lots of boats with lots and lots of people. Another party board's coming there behind us. It's a lot of fun out here. And what's the 4th of July without a little barbecue? Y'all have a good day. Happy 4th of July. I love y'all and roll tide. I was a storm and I passed right over you. And I tried to eclipse the sun in the hopes that you love the tumble and spray in your face. And the sky broken by you